But we begin tonight with something that, frankly, we knew was coming. Something we knew was inevitable after right-wing activists and Fox News destroyed the community organizing group ACORN last year with supposedly incriminating videotapes that really weren't all that incriminating at all. That really weren't incriminating at all. This is not meant to excuse what ACORN has done wrong in the past, but the huge tide of negative publicity that followed these videotapes and the coverage they got on Fox wall to wall for months was bullpucky. It was a dishonest political stunt that bears no resemblance to journalism and no resemblance to the actual facts of what happened in those offices. But it worked. This organization has been shut down. Means be damned, in the end it worked. Who do you think is next on their list? Today we got an answer to that question, which I hoped at the time was just a rhetorical one. The same attack that helped take down Acorn last fall with supposedly incriminating videotapes has now claimed a new victim. Next on their list, it turns out, is this woman, an Obama administration employee named Shirley Sherrod. Up until yesterday, Shirley Sherrod was an official with the United States Department of Agriculture, with the USDA. She served as the USDA's World Development Director for the great state of Georgia. Ms. Sherrod resigned from that post yesterday, she claims under intense pressure from the Obama administration. Pressure that was apparently brought to bear after this. The same conservative website that posted the supposedly incriminating, but in the end just massively misleadingly edited acorn tapes, now has posted what it claims to be cold hard evidence of racism. Racism shown by an employee at the U.S. Department of Agriculture. The evidence was a video clip of Shirley Sherrod speaking at an NAACP event this March. And at that event, she recounts this story. The first time I was faced with having a white farmer save his farm, he, he took a long time talking, but he was trying to show me he was superior to me. I know what he was doing. Damning evidence, right? A USDA official, a government official admitting on tape to racial discrimination, to withholding government assistance to white farmers, specifically because they're white. Stop the presses. Within hours of that clip being posted online and billed as evidence of a racist within the Obama administration, Fox News, understanding their role in this delicate, well-practiced dance, jumped all over it. Breaking news tonight about an agriculture department official caught on tape making racially charged comments to an NAACP audience. Well, that is simply unacceptable, and Ms. Sherrod must resign immediately. The federal government cannot have skin color deciding any assistance. And this is a Fox News alert. An Obama administration official resigned just a short time ago after she was caught on tape appearing to tell an audience that she had used her position to racially discriminate against white farmers. How's that for efficient? How's that for action? Fox News and a conservative website uncover what they say is an admitted racist in the Obama administration, and she is forced to resign immediately. The problem? There are a few ginormous asterisks that were left out of the initial breathless Fox News coverage. The conservative website that posted the video presented it as if it were a real-time admission of racism, an admission of racism happening now, actively, within the U.S. Agriculture Department. And that's how it was covered initially by Fox News. Here how, here's how the video was set up. See this quote? Ms. Sherrod admits that in her federally appointed position, overseeing a billion dollars, she discriminates against people due to their race. Damning, if that were actually true. Shirley Sherrod joined the USDA in 2009. Now, it is clear even from these edited tapes that what she was talking about here was a situation that took place a long time before that. Check this out. So I took him to a white lawyer that we had, that, that had attended some of the training that we had provided because Chapter 12 Bank Robson had just been enacted for the family farm. 
Chapter 12 bankruptcy had just been enacted for the family farm. Chapter 12 bankruptcy for family farmers was enacted by the federal government in 1986. Ms. Sherrod on this tape was recounting a story that happened in the mid-80s, in 1986, more than 20 years before she took this job with the federal government. That reality that never made it into screaming Fox News headlines, though, like video shows USDA officials saying she didn't give full force of help to white farmer and government discrimination caught on tape. That's not actually at all what the tapes reveal. She wasn't working for the federal government in 1986 when this story took place. So that's the first thing. The situation she's discussing took place more than 20 years ago when Shirley Sherrod worked for a nonprofit organization, not for the federal government. But even more importantly, and you would never know this if you got all your information from Fox News, Shirley Sherrod never actually followed through on this idea of withholding help to the white farmer. The whole point of her telling this story was that in the end, she decided that her initial reaction was wrong. Having never been confronted with the opportunity or the possibility of helping a white farmer before, having always worked with black farmers, her initial reaction to the first opportunity to help a white farmer was wrong. This is the point of the story. The point of the story was that she should actually help the white farmers. And that's exactly what she did, as the couple in question explained on CNN earlier today. We were, we were going to lose our farm if something couldn't be done. And she, she jumped in there and she got everything lined up. And we went up there and, and uh, uh, she, she done her, her, her level best. Had it not been for her assistance, would you have lost your farm, do you believe? I believe so. I, think so. I believe uh, absolutely. In all your time knowing uh, Shirley Sherrod, has there ever been anything about her, uh, either through her attitude, her words, her opinions, or her behaviors, that would lead you to believe that she is in any way a racist? No. No way in the world. No way. No way. I, I don't. I, I don't even want to talk about it. it. Don't. It don't make sense. So that's the aggrieved party. Those are the people to whom the racism happened. Shirley Sherrod helped those white farmers keep their farm in Georgia. After initially reacting negatively to them, she explained in the story, she helped them. She kept them out of bankruptcy. She recounted her initial negative reaction to explain why she's so glad that she did the right thing, that she helped those farmers. That's what happened. Unless, of course, you watch Fox News. Because a farmer was white, right. she doesn't extend the full helping hand to him. And she's touting this in this anecdote uh -huh. as though this is, you know, a feather in her cap somehow for her to be congratulated. I mean, it's really a shocking admission. Yeah, yeah, right. Listen, listen to her touting this as a feather in her cap and asking to be congratulated. Here's part of Ms. Sherrod's unedited speech. This is what she said right before recounting that story of the white farmers. Listen. I made the commitment on the night of my father's death at the age of 17 that I would not leave the South, that I would stay in the South and devote my life to working for change. When I made that commitment, I was making that commitment to black people and to black people only. But you know, God will, will, will show you things and he'll put things in your path so that that you realize that the struggle all right. is really about poor people. All right, okay. all right. And that's what she gets the congratulations for because that's the point of her story. That context, the whole point of her story about working for poor people, not just for black people, about working in a colorblind way, that was left out of any of the clips posted of her speech and touted on Fox News. What is not really that interesting about this whole situation is the fact that Fox News is doing this. This is what Fox News does. This is how they are different from other news organizations. This is why the White House argued months ago that Fox should be treated as a media organization, but not as a normal news organization, because they don't treat news the way a normal news organization treats news. Just like the fake acorn controversy, Fox News knows that it has a role in this dance. That's not new. That's not actually even interesting about this scandal. Fox does what Fox does. That is dog bites man. That is not interesting. What is interesting about this story? 
that the Obama administration inexplicably keeps falling for it. Today, Agriculture Secretary Tom Vilsack acknowledged that he asked for and accepted Shirley Sherrod's resignation after this supposed controversy came to light on Fox News. But apparently before anyone but Fox News and a conservative website got their say about what actually happened here. Dear White House, dear administration, believing conservative spin about what's so wrong with you and then giving in to that spin is not an effective defense against that spin. Just buying it and ap apologizing for it and, and doing whatever they want you to do doesn't make the problem of them lying about you go away. In fact, it makes it worse. After Fox News set its sights on Obama administration official Van Jones, Van Jones was very quickly booted out of his job. After Fox News went on this fake crusade against ACORN, the Obama administration cut all ties with the group, didn't even bother to mount a defense or wait till they had been investigated properly, just let Fox News do it. They pushed an effort to defund ACORN. And now, after Fox News totally misrepresented USDA employee Shirley Sherrod, she's cut loose as well before the story can even make it into the mainstream media. If you keep falling for this sort of stunt, you are encouraging them. You are feeding a dog from the table and thereby encouraging that dog to beg at the table. After all the damage was already done today, after Fox News managed to force out Shirley Sherrod with a totally out of context smear job that made white people feel aggrieved about racism in a way that helps Fox News' politics, here's how Fox News decided to cover the end of this story. Did the White House essentially railroad an innocent woman in this because they are on edge themselves about the Van Jones controversy, the Black Panthers Party case, and other controversies? She was railroaded. Given how the Obama administration has reacted to previous cooked up campaigns by Fox News and conservative activists, it was not impossible to see this coming. So I say again tonight, as I said back in April, the huge tide of negative publicity that followed these videotapes and the coverage they got on Fox wall to wall was a dishonest political stunt that bears no resemblance to journalism and no resemblance to the actual facts of what happened. But it worked. Means be damned, in the end, it worked. Like I said in April, who do you think is next on their list? I asked it months ago, and I'm asking it again now. Who's next?